All right, yo, yo, <laughs> welcome to the video, welcome to the channel. I'm back with a video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about you know, how to have discernment, right? Discernment in people, discernment in relationships, discernment in, you know, decisions we make. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel me? So, you know, you want to have a spirit of discernment, right? God, God, God gives us a, you know, we have to have godly wisdom when it comes to, you know, discernment. Right? Yeah. How would yeah. well, what, what, how do you feel about discernment? How do you feel about that? Um also also if y'all know who this is, let me he'll introduce himself. Let me introduce myself and his knee go. Alright. So Draco, tell me, what do you think of discernment? How do you handle it? Um before I used to go off well you want me you want me to say how I how I respond to discernment before I got like deeper in the faith or like how do you or yeah. how do I deal with it? Like, let's say a life example. Okay. Like, how did you deal with it in the life example? And um, how do you encourage the viewers to, you know, deal with it? Uh, I would say trust your heart, trust God, but trust trust your gut. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, majority always right. literally because majority of times, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Like a lot about a lot of people that I thought you know weren't weren't really real you know that weren't really for me who didn't who didn't really support me at all either anything i did i i, I was able to figure it out you know what i'm saying like and, yeah. and it's, it's more so through actions body language but you just get you i don't know you get a feeling like you get a you get either a good or a bad feeling about certain people mm -hmm. it's like you can so, feel the energy it's the energy you know, yeah it's definitely an aura Oh yeah, definitely. It's, it's definitely or even though that words, you know, getting like popular, it's getting like popular. That, you can actually like feel the aura, you know, just yeah. when they step into the room. Like some people they bring a positive aura and some people like a majority of the people that, you know, know me, you know, that know the real me is they they will say I bring a lot of positivity. Oh, right? absolutely. A lot of like and I'm not, I'm just gonna be I'm being honest with y'all. So you know how you how I deal with discernment is I just try to trust trust you know trust god pray about it mm -hmm. and trust my gut trust my instincts mm -hmm. and you know i let it take care of itself i try not to do too much yeah and i've been 100 i've been 10 out of 10 100 out of 100 100 percent from the field and from the three-point line and from the free throw line That's about every, eh, i'll say about uh, 70 <laughs> 70 percent i'll say there, about 70 70 about 70 percent from all areas except now free throw i'm about i'm about 88 but anyway but that, that's how I usually handle discernment. If y'all are trying to figure it out, I would say trust your, trust your gut. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Our guts are usually right all the time. Right. If you have so, a bad feeling, if your stomach hurt. Oh, yeah. Trust it. Trust sure. it, bro. Mm -hmm. there, ain't, there ain't no hunger. There ain't no hunger. It may be hunger, <laughs> right? But that, that may be two sources of hunger, bro. Oh, yeah, no, nah, definitely. And that other hunger isn't the right one. <laughs> that's a big back hunger. Okay. KO. <laughs> all right. Okay. Yeah. I was like kind of tough, though. That's, a tough <laughs> That's kind of a tough uh, I'll That's keep that in the video, I guess, for oh the viewers. I, no, I said I will. Okay. Oh so, what makes spiritual discernment so difficult when dealing with people? What makes spiritual what, what makes spiritual discernment, discernment so, difficult? so difficult when dealing with people? Like, oh, me personally, I feel like I can have some haters in my life, you know, which I do. So, like, you know, they always try to bring down my spirit. They always try to, you know, crush it and like tell me I'm not able to be able to do, you know. The things I want to do, right, mm -hmm. or like you know, fulfill the purpose I want to fill, not only for me but also for my family, for God, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. So I don't know. I guess like it really depends on who you choose to talk to and choose what to listen to what they say. You okay. Know? So I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna yeah. ask the chat actually. Okay. Well, in the comment section, I'm gonna ask you a question. So, and I want you to answer this, right? So. What have what what's what's your biggest struggle in discernment? Is it not knowing if people are genuine or real? Is it yeah. you having an inner war with yourself? Right. What is the reason you you find disarm, d discernment discernment? <laughs> what is the reason you find Those discernment difficult? <laughs> Big starters. What is the reason you find discernment difficult? Because you know we we get we can get in our own heads and twist it, and we can't sometimes figure out from somebody's outside and you sometimes you can't even figure out by their own body language yeah. how genuine people really are right and it's like can be really good at like you know disguising their true colors yeah you know like i met a lot of people that are really good at disguising at like who they really are and then you know you follow 
you fall for their trap, you know, mm -hmm. like you get so deep with them in emotional connection where like what they do to you, you don't realize it till it keeps harming you. And then, you know, it gets too late to the point where like you're so hurt from them mm -hmm. that like you're too far deep in them where you want to break it off of them. And right. I feel like that's a lot in relationships. Honestly. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Yeah. And I'm going to read y'all a verse. Um, Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 through 20. Acts of the flesh are obvious. Now, y'all are going to see, this may sound not even near relevant to what we're talking about. I'm going to make it make sense. Y'all be patient. Um, acts of the flesh are obvious. Sexual immorality, or yeah, immorality, impurity. Um, in verse 20, idolatry and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions. So basically, and also in that verse, those, you know, who live like this won't inherit the kingdom of heaven, right? Kingdom of God, right? So you know how a spirit of discernment, especially like in our relationships, say, you know, you, you want to get with a girl, right? You don't know what her true intentions are, right? She yeah. might just want sex from you, right? Yeah. So if, if you don't realize those are her intentions, you'll just be wasting time. That's where you have to watch for, you know, body language you have to watch yeah. for red flags yeah. don't miss out on the red flags yeah. right when you, you when you have to yeah. tell yourself to back up right, right. or to back off don't or that you the, shouldn't don't let the don't let, fool you yeah don't you know? let the pretty face don't yeah. let the pretty face fool yeah. you know you know we, we 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 say you know a girl is pretty or if you're a girl you may think a guy looks good or something right yeah and you know you 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 see the outward appearance and it, it blinds you right that's why look the thing about adam and eve they were blinded Eve was blinded by the snake, right? By the serpent, mm -hmm. right? They God said, don't eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, right? But Satan, who was, you know, symbolic through the serpent, he, he told Eve, you know, you'll see like God can see, right? You'll see things God can see. You'll be like God if you eat this fruit. But God told them that eating from this tree will cause them, you know, cause sin, cause death, right? Because there's a reason... Right. And so Adam being told that he, he should have. Now, you can say, you know, Eve should have done it, should have listened. Right. Right. Should have listened to her husband. Right. Yeah. But Adam was the one that was told mm -hmm. not to do what he right. was. Even if Eve presented him the fruit, he should have known. Yeah. Let's be honest. He was told. Let's be honest. Yeah. So and if you all want to be able to grow your discernment, that's why reading the word is so important. I tell y'all, y'all should read Proverbs because if y'all have godly wisdom, godly wisdom will, will shield you from a lot of, you know, it will shield you from hard decisions and it will shield you from decisions that um, can cause you, you know, turmoil, right? Right. Because um, God, you know, God wants us to be blessed, but he wants us to be smart and to be safe, yeah. right? He yeah. wants us to, but then again, you have to obey him, right? Yeah. It's like, Obeying your parents when the Bible says to obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. Yeah. Why does God tell you to not? He doesn't tell you to disobey your parents. Don't yeah. listen to what Satan is telling you. Yeah. It clearly says in the scriptures to obey your parents. Mm -hmm. It says because if you love God, right, and you obey God, keep His commandments, do do His will, right, do His will unto death. Yeah. Read Reve that's in Revelations, right. You do His will unto death. It's like don't discernment. Discernment is difficult though if you're not strong within the faith. But even if you are strong within the faith, this you let it cloud you, it can it can cause a lot of pain. Yeah. How do you like how would you respond to that though? Like kinda like how do you how how do you think I have another question actually. <laughs> for the chat. For the chat. For the chat. For the chat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Alright, we'll so get back. we'll get back. <laughs> think of a situation that you may have not like responded to the best. What is what's how do you think you could have went about a certain situation? Don't explain the situation in the comments. Yeah. Don't. We don't want to know your life story. We want to know what you think you should have done better. Right. Right. Because at the end of the day, yeah. every day, every every situation right. is about growth. Right. Right. So I mean, you know, we can act on emotions a lot of times. Mm -hmm. You know, and acting on those emotions lead you know to lashes that we don't mean. You yeah. Know? We just act on emotion because we're feeling at the moment, and we think on the emotions instead of knowledge. And, you know, mm -hmm. like using our heads. You know what better situation we can get an outcome better can you even speak a better outcome better. Yeah. Yeah, you get it but yeah i know so i mean we just gotta you know use our heads instead of you know emotionally act on situations 
Yeah, because yeah. though God gives us emotions, right? God gives us emotions for a reason, right? Yeah. But don't let don't 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 be blinded by your your own desires and your own emotions, right? Yeah. What you want for yeah. your life may not be what God wants for your life. The no. way you feel, right? No. That's fine. No. Just just know that you know emotions don't don't last. Don't don't stay in your emotions, yeah. and you know you got You got to continue to move. Like there's no point. Yeah. But. Yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. Um, y'all share this video because... Please, share it. Share this video because this is a good yeah. video. Oh. No, no, it's still recording. Oh. Sorry, y'all. Hey. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> but I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all, 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 y'all tune into my boy's Twitch. Oh, please do, yeah. I'll put it on yeah, screen. Um, Hopefully, if I, I remember. Reactions, chat, you know, things like that. So, whatever y'all want to do, you know, so, yeah. So... y'all interested, you know, more likely be happy to... You know, have y'all tune in. Yeah, y'all tune into there. Yeah. But, um, yeah, nah. thanks for watching, as hey, always. Y'all spread the gospel, though. Spread the word. Spread the word. Everyone Yeah, you. spread his channel, too. He's doing great stuff, positive. So, yeah, that's all we need in our lives. God bless God everyone. bless y'all. Sheesh. Sheesh.